For a first-time EV driver, the charging process is probably the most frightening, yet the chargers themselves are getting simpler and easier. Instavolt install a wide variety of chargers, ranging from 50 kilowatts, which are great for a quick top-up, up to 150 kilowatts, which are ideal for a larger charge session. Say you want a weak charge. They normally have two charger plugs on each charger, a CHAdeMO and a CCS2. You will certainly know which your car has, and over 90% now have CCS2, so don't worry. And they are dramatically different, there is no chance of you trying to plug in the wrong one. Well, no matter what model or make of charger you find, they all operate in a very similar way, and all have clear, easy instructions on the chargers or on notices very close by. Generally, you pull up and make sure your car charger port is within easy reach of the cable you'll be using. Once sure, you'll normally use a contactless bank card. Just swipe it over the reader and it'll take a few seconds, then confirm all is OK. You then select on the screen which socket you will use, in most cases this will be CCS2, and you'll then be told to plug it in. It usually takes a few seconds to communicate with your car, but quite quickly you'll get a successful message and the car starts charging. To stop the charging when you have enough, there are three methods, probably more. First, you can swipe your contactless card again and the session simply stops. Second, you can press the stop charging on the charger screen. And third, you can stop the session either from your car or your car app. Now, whichever you choose, they all work the same. The session will come to an end and the plug will unlock. Simply remove the plug and replace it back in the charger. Now, in case people do things in the wrong order, I deliberately try these things to see what happens. I'm pleased to say it makes very little difference. I've tried plug it in first. It worked. I tried selecting the CHAdeMO plug on the charger screen, but then used the CCS2. Still worked. I can't really think of anything else to do to get it wrong. On occasions you'll find a faulty charger. These are normally clearly visible before you try to charge. Most often they'll be displaying a red light and the screen will say charger out of action or some similar message. I always report these using the phone number on the charger or a nearby notice. They might already know, but it does no harm. If your car fails to communicate with the charger and there is no red light on the charger, simply unplug and start again. Charges are getting much more reliable and the networks are starting to look after them better. The biggest problem you will likely find with Instavolt is that they do love installing just two chargers, so you might find them both in use. Well, this is where their app comes in handy. It should be up to date, so check before you set off. If you do have a choice of power in one of their hubs, like Banbury, which has 32 chargers ranging from 120 to 150 kilowatts, it makes little difference for most EVs, as the average maximum charging speed is less than 150 kilowatts, and you rarely reach even this, so just use whichever is free. If you have a higher maximum charging speed, then use the fastest one you can find that's free. But if there aren't any free, Use one of the lower power ones, it won't be that much slower. Well, thanks for watching to the end. I'm Dave.